The topic under discussion today is about the ketoacidosis, mainly diabetic ketoacidosis. There are some other factors also responsible to cause acidosis, uh, mainly ketoacidosis. But today we'll be talking about the diabetic ketoacidosis and we will uh, discuss other factors in our coming videos. So for now, just concentrate and have the concept of the diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, in our this lecture, first of all, we will talk about the definition of the diabetic ketoacidosis. I will tell you that how to define diabetic ketoacidosis. Then I'll tell you that how this ketoacidosis is actually caused. We'll talk about the mechanism. One can say we'll talk about the pathophys of the diabetic ketoacidosis. Let's come as a lecture from the definition. What is the diabetic ketoacidosis? Very simple blood pH if it changes due to the ketone bodies due to ketone bodies is called as ketoacidosis now here remember the term is acidosis now this pH will be in sense of acidity these ketone bodies will be responsible to cause pH to become acidic okay these are responsible to cause pH acidic means acidity will be created because of the ketone bodies due to which this is called as ketoacidosis and now this if 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 this ketoacidosis is because of diabetes then that will be named as diabetic ketoacidosis very simple just concentrate blood ph is changing because of what because of ketone bodies now these ketone bodies are actually responsible to change the ph of the blood in terms of acidity means ketone bodies will create acidic environment so this kind of making of the ph change is actually known as acidosis because of what? Because of ketone bodies. So it is known as ketoacidosis. And now if this ketoacidosis is because of diabetes, then this will be named as diabetic ketoacidosis. Hope is clear. Coming to the next point, half means the pathophys. What is the pathophys of the diabetic ketoacidosis? Very simple. The primary energy source that we consume the, for cellular purposes, for cellular metabolism is glucose. Okay. To synthesize ATP. What is happening in diabetes? Glucose uh, in the cell will decrease. Why? Because in diabetes, there is no insulin. There is deficiency of insulin. And we know that insulin is responsible to decrease blood glucose level. And this decreased blood glucose level will be just because of what? The glucose will be moving towards the cell. Now here, the cells are deficient of glucose. Glucose is not moving inside the cell. So what will happen then? Then intracellularly, the lipolysis will start means the fatty acid will be uh, their metabolism will start so fatty acid will be undergo uh, will start undergoing through the process of the oxidation uh, the beta oxidation of the fatty acid will start and uh, they will synthesize acetyl coa now we know this point very well that acetyl coa when synthesized is responsible to move through the krebs cycle to synthesize atp here it is atp if the light is actually here so here i have actually written atp let me write it here again atp i think it's visible now well so what will happen lipolysis will be of the fatty acid uh, that will be uh, in sense of beta oxidation acetyl coa will be synthesized and these acetyl coa will move towards the krebs cycle through the krebs cycle there will be the synthesis of the atp now what happens if this krebs cycle uh, saturates then these acetyl coa will undergo the process of ketogenesis means they will synthesize ketone bodies now these ketone bodies when these are synthesized they are actually responsible to deprotonate in the blood what they will deprotonate in the blood now this deprotonation will result in production of what protons and we know h plus ion is responsible for the acidity so like this it will increase the acidity now this acidity is increased because of ketone bodies and these ketone bodies are synthesized because of what diabetes so that's why it is named as diabetic ketoacidosis i hope it's clear 